How are you all doing? My name is Deborah Hajas Kowan and I am here to give you my reaction to his episode 12 and 13. Okay, and I'm looking at my phone because I'm talking with someone about EXO because I think we're making it to like Kai, but that's another matter. Um, I was pretty excited about this week because we saw them taking steps ahead, okay? They were not stagnant, e.g. Kim Tan and his brother. We saw Kim Tan when he was chased out of the house, he went to his brother's home in his or hotel rather. And his brother like, when he saw him, he just opened the door and like banged the door on his face. But then obviously, even Kim Tan knew like, dude, you're my brother, you're gonna open the door anyways. And he opened the door for him and he let Kim Tan in and Kim Tan came in and they were just the cutest people ever and um, I like how even though Chan Young's dad called him he spoke in front of Kim Tan about the whole shares thing and then he was like oh you're not gonna sleep here take the card and go get yourself another room and Kim Tan went downstairs and Kim Woo Bin apparently <laughs> being the person he is told the people in the hotel not to grant him access to any room which ended up helping Kim Tan and Kim Tan said it himself he's like thank you which makes me think did he do that to help Kim Tan or to spite Kim Tan or both but that's something that's something pretty interesting though and so Kim Tan went back to the hotel and he stayed with his brother and his brother dropped him off at school the next day and Kim Tan was the happiest boy ever and it was just the sweetest thing ever i felt for him it was like oh my goodness finally y'all are getting a hold of yourselves but it was really cool though oh my goodness abby i love you abby if you're watching this thank you for finding along with me anyway moving on um another thing that i really liked was when um rachel came to meet um kim Bean and she's like oh young doll um why like i just found out about um tiny's secret and all that like you knew why didn't you do anything and he's like i'm gonna shut your mouth like i'm this is a warning if you dare to tell anyone i will be doing it. you like literally so oh that was like the coolest thing because it showed that he still cared about his friend like tan and he sincerely did not want tan to get hurt or like for his secret to come out so i just thought oh my goodness he's so cute he's like so awesome he loves his friend so that was like pretty cute and pretty dope um my next favorite scene was what was my next favorite scene oh yeah uh, when chat and song rejected kim will be ah! oh you chow young those shippers i am pretty sorry but he is he's just too he's like too emotionally damaged for me to ship her with him okay i am sorry but yeah um so it was like oh my goodness she's like okay i understand when he, he came to the place where she walks it it was so cute how he took the place for like two hours or so or was it four hours anyway and then he's like oh yeah i booked this place and you need to sit down and he poured oh my goodness he poured the drink on the ground i'm like i'm gonna kill you dude but yeah and they talked and she rejected him finally and she was like dude i'm gonna have nothing to do with you no more but yeah she rejected him which was good because i felt like he needed that from so from her like to, for her to say dude i want to have nothing to do with you but then he had to spoil it by saying okay if i can't have you then i'm gonna hurt the people that cause you dude who confesses like that like dude i will never go out with you if it's me like you don't force people into a relationship chai young do learn from me okay watch this and get advice from me do not threaten people to love you it is not okay okay i don't i don't know how y'all can like him but i can't like someone who's threatening me today him like dude seriously but moving aside um i didn't like that he threatened her but i like that she rejected him outright be like dude i don't love you i love Kim Tan. but yeah that was pretty interesting um another scene that i really really liked was when um what's his name um kim tan yeah kim tan 
when Kim Tan was with Chat and Song and he came and he like gave her the back hug because she gave him back hug too. I thought that was like pretty cute though. Then another scene that I didn't like and I liked and it was just all over the place was when Kim Kim Woo Bin announced over the school's um what's it called? What they call it? You know what I'm talking about, but yeah, announced that he was gonna tell the whole school a secret about Kim Tan just to get Chat and Song's attention. I thought that was pretty cute though. But Chat and Song went and he just wanted to see her. That's all. He wasn't gonna reveal the secret, but he had to be the jerk that he is and he closed the door on Kim Tan and Kim Tan was like just hitting the door with his leg and I'm like, dude, stop hitting the door. He'll open it at the end of the day. He ain't gonna do nothing to her, but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, so um, he finally opened the door and he just wanted to like murder Cho Young Do, okay? And Cho Young Do was just standing there like, hit me, like, I deserve to be hit, okay? I know I am not gonna hit you back, okay? I have done so much to you. And Kim Tan hit him and Kim Tan was like ready to kill him with a chair and Cha and so just like hugged him and she's like, no, don't do it. And it was like she was talking to him and talking to Cho Young Do and Cho Young Do could see how much she loved her him and it was like that was the point where Choi Young Do gave up on chat and song at least to me so that was pretty cool though moving on to my next favorite scene was when um they found out about Yisoo's secret and Rachel told about Yisoo's secret and um they made her sit down on the chair for the social care group and Kim Tan came and he saw what was going on and he's like dude stand up and then he sat down that's so cute that's so cool but then another thing that I liked was how Choi Young Do came and Choi Young Do was like dude what are you doing here like stand up it was I like that because you know he knows about his secret and he acts like he hates him normally a normal person in that situation like oh cool yeah i always knew you're an illegitimate child so you're kind of social care group too and he hated him but he didn't want him to sit down there he felt hot that his friend was sitting down there because he's like dude you're not in the social care group i don't see you as someone in the social care group which spoke volumes because that was him saying i care about you but Kintan didn't see it that way okay and then he threw the food on him to make stand up and he does like oh, sorry chat and song i got to beat this guy but yeah he didn't beat him up obviously <laughs> but yeah um that was pretty cool though and chat and song came to the rescue and drew him out and that was just interesting though moving on let's go to lee bona and chan yong oh my goodness are they cute or oh, are they cute they're like the cutest couples ever like i love those two. Oh my goodness um when they had so they had this like fight because of Yisoo and like Bona was tricked by Rachel into sitting down in the seat for bullying social care group members and Chan Young saw her and he was pretty hot about it and I totally understand how he could be hot about that and so they fought okay and when they fought he wanted her back but he wanted to play ooh I'm the bad guy I'm the hot guy I'm hard to get okay and he played well and Bona just wanted him back even though she tried but she couldn't resist the awesomeness of Chan Young and she wanted him back and so um Kim Hen Yo decided it was high time he brought them back together and so he put on the speakers when Bona was at the radio station and Chan Young and the whole school literally had her confession about her love for him and so <laughs> They were just cute, so they came back together. I just thought they were cute. I loved all their scenes this week. And then, obviously, Bona being the Bona that she is, had to organize a party. <laughs> a reconciliation party for them. So, um, which led to some other things, which I'm going to later. But, yeah, they're so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love the Bona Chan Young couple. They're crazy cute. But, moving on from Bona Chan Young couple. Um, who else? Or oh, what else did I like this week? Ooh, moving on from that, let's go to Kim Han Young. Okay. I do not like Kim Han Young's mom. Is there anyone that actually likes Kim Han Young's mom? Like, dude, he told his mom how he was gonna commit suicide again. Like, his life was gonna be at risk if he goes for that interview or whatever. His mom was like, dude seriously you think you can threaten me with that same thing again like 
I ain't gonna let you kill yourself, okay? And he was like, so what? He's like, dude, you call yourself the wife to the attorney general or whatever his dad is and you're cheating and lying and doing all these things just for your son to go for an interview? That really hurt. I felt so sad for him. I felt his pain. Like, mom, it is not cool to do that. But then... He finally went for the interview and when he went it was so obvious he didn't want to be there but they still somehow granted him the chance to write the exam which I think he's not gonna write that's one of my theories for this week he is so not gonna write that exam and I think it was pretty hilarious that all the girls that were in front of like the school for the exam were with his card he was shame like his name and they were screaming for him but they were not looking at him which was like pretty weird because he was in front of them I'm like did his mom just hire a bunch of girls to come and shout his name and they don't know who he is <laughs> but yeah that was I found that hilarious though but that's something else for this week that I actually liked um another pretty interesting thing this week was his mom um Kintan's mom and her relationship with Chat and Song um I like how she kept on holding her captive in order to see Kim Tan but I thought it was pretty interesting how like when she said she was gonna hold her captive and like she was gonna go to the house with her and Kim Tan was like oh yeah um that's good I like that you two are together like he trusted his mom is like I can trust her with you because he knows his mom is too kind to actually hurt chat in songs so that was pretty cute though and i like how when the mom came she wasn't like all the k-drama moms and like being mean to chat in songs she was like dude if your mom is worried do you, don't you think i'll also be worried do you think i'll just stay like that and like watch your mom like give me food and i'll be happily eat her food when i know that her daughter's like sleeping outside her home so i thought that was pretty cute though i love how she sincerely loves chat in songs mom that's pretty nice i love their relationship they have a very weird relationship that's cute though moving on from that my next favorite scene was um the hug that she gave Kim Tan in the beginning when he came crying to her and she hugged him, that was cute. I also liked the donut pat when she was eating the donut and he gave her the donut and I like how he's always like, ooh, when she's like, oh, that's too fast. Then she's like, oh, no, wait, that's not the first thing we've done. And he's like, ooh, so you remember that, but you're cute though. And I like how when he left the house, the first thing he wanted to do was borrow money. Seriously, Kim Tan, who does that? But I guess you're rich, so obviously <laughs> you can't live without money. Go get a job. <laughs> so, but anyway, he wanted to borrow money from them. Kim and you, so he called a meeting of Chan Young, Kim and you, and Myung Soo, they're all like looking at him like, dude, seriously. <laughs> He's like, okay, so whose house am I going to sleep in? And who's going to borrow me the money? And who's going to, and they're all like, the heck? <laughs> And um, finally, when Kim Hanyu realized that he was being serious, he was kicked out of the house and he was even slapped. He's like, oh, dude, do you want to come over to my house and sleep? Which is really cute because Kim Hanyu always has Kim Tan's back. And Kim Tan was like, oh, no, I don't want to stay in your house. Your mom's pretty scary, dude. But yeah, I thought that was pretty hilarious, though. But it was pretty cute. I love Kim Hanyu for doing that for Kim Tan. And... I thought it was pretty interesting that when he slept, um, Kim Tan slept at the studio with Chat and Song. <laughs> um, Chat and Song, like, after she was studying and she like, oh, um, good night. And Kim Tan was like, good night. I'm not sleeping. I, I can't remember what he said, but that scene was just like so cute though. Because he couldn't sleep because she was there and she just loved him. And they're just so cute and everything. And Myung Soo came and he was knocking at the door. <laughs> And Kim Tan refused to open the door and they opened the door in the morning and what did they see? This crazy guy taking pictures of them and it turned out to be Myung Soo. <laughs> I love Myung Soo, he's like the cutest person ever. But yeah, and Kim Myung Soo was like, I'm not giving up, what were you two doing there? <laughs> and he's like, oh, wait, what were you two doing? What did you do? You didn't sleep all night? What did you do after like kissing or whatever? I can't remember but he was cute though. Um, moving on from that. Now let's go to my favorite scene. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to make this short. My best scene was when Chat and Song told Kim Tan how she felt like burdened by being new money, and he t he apologized. That was so sweet, though. He apologized, and he's like, "Okay, if you can't do this, just hold on to me." And she went and she told everyone, and then they're like, "Kim Tan, did you know about this?" And Kim Tan was like, "No, she deceived me." And then he went, and he's like, "She deceived me that she was gonna be okay, but she's not okay." <laughs> 
was like the sweetest thing ever and then he held her and then he, he like told me to play the music and we also like understood and we also like gave him the eye and he like put the lights on them and turned off all the other lights me and so he got pretty awesome high five high five <laughs> but yeah um so he was like he confessed to her and then he kissed her on the forehead and everyone was like oh y'all so cute though and y'all just and everyone just ignored rachel <laughs> Let's talk about how awesome it was that Rachel's Rachel tried to do something bad, but it turned around and went on her head. That teaches you not to do bad things to people, okay? But yeah, that was pretty interesting. So now my least favorite scenes. My least favorite scene number one was uh, ooh, when Chin Tan found out the secret about his family like um, from his mom, like his fake mom because it's I don't know that scene and when he met the lawyers carrying me like please can time to go over the dark to the dark side because they're like oh your father's gonna lose the company which is good because we also found out the secret about why they didn't tell anyone that he's an illegitimate child and they've been hiding it because that's probably gonna lose the company to his brothers who are still suing the company because of like the whole issue of the family and the father taking the company from his brother and etc etc so if they find out that his father has Kim Tan as an illegitimate child then they're probably going to take the company back so they actually kind of care for him and she actually kind of care for, cares for him slash she just the company it's kind of mixed though but yeah I thought that was pretty interesting and I didn't like that scene and another scene that I loved oh my goodness I just moved from love, not loving to love and I realized that was when Kim Tan was sitting down and thinking and his brother came and his brother saw him and his brother wanted to go he's like no he just sit he, he sat down with him and he's like what are you doing here and Kim Tan was like thinking and he just sat and he's like oh um something something why don't we talk or something and his brother was like don't do that I'm gonna get all creepy or weird or something and he left and Kim Tan was Laughing and stuff for him. They're just so cute though. But anyway, another thing I didn't like was when Rachel lied to Chun Yong Do about being at Cha In Song's workplace and she went and she found out where it was. I'm like, Chun Yong Do, can't you be smarter? But anyway, <laughs> she found out and then she had to go to the party. Jerk. Okay, I'm sorry. She went to the party and she tried to spoil it by inviting Chat and Song to come do the whole food thing. But I love how Chat and Song like called Lim in hole before going. Like, where are you going to the party? Okay, whatever happens, blah blah blah. So that was really good because most K drama leads wouldn't do that. They would just go and then annoy the guy by doing that. But I love how she did that. Okay, that was cool. And then he he went there because he knew that she was obviously gonna do something. So that was pretty cool. And also another thing that I didn't like was when she tricked Bona into the whole chair thing and she did the whole like social care thing to Yisoo. That was really mean of you. I really didn't like you at all this week. I don't know, Rachel. Y'all need to renew yourself. <laughs> So yeah, um, I love that. I I slash didn't love it. But anyway, moving on. Um, what other scene did I like or did I not like? So this anyway, this week as a whole was pretty interesting. I love how they moved ahead with Chat in Song's relationship with Kim Tan, and she seemed so happy to be with him. It was just so cute. Kim Tan, go get a job, okay? <laughs> you need to go get a job if you're not moving back into your dad's place. But I also like how they moved ahead with him and his brother, and the relationship is like getting better. So that's pretty cool. And um, I found it pretty interesting, like when Kim Tan and Kim Woo Bin were being punished by the teacher they were told to like write about themselves and they kept on remembering stuff about themselves but was I the only one who thought when the teacher said Kim Tan will have to call the brother that she just wanted to see the brother and was using that as an excuse maybe maybe not I don't know but that's what I thought though um this week was pretty interesting i loved this week's episode because of the whole moving ahead and the ending was like the perfect ending like if they had ended hairs there i might have been satisfied <laughs> okay it was just so cute it was the cutest thing ever but that's beside the point um what did y'all think about hairs this week did you like hairs this week is that something i maybe didn't touch this week 
I'll try to touch it next week, okay? If I forgot something that was so awesome this week, I'll touch it next week. But tell me what you thought about hairs this week in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video if you love hairs this week or you just love my review, okay? And don't forget to check out my other videos and to subscribe to my channel once more from me to y'all. Y'all know I got some umbrella for you. <laughs> Alright, take care. Bye.